today. Again, we are uh, in a hybrid event, although uh, all the event is going to take place in person here in Fortaleza. We are also going to have uh, online uh, uh, participants. Now we are going to start with uh, orientation guides for the new participants. This is meant uh, for those that are coming for, to this uh, event for the first time. So now let me invite Oscar Robles, CEO of LACNIC, and uh, Ariel Wey president of uh, the board, CEO of the board of LACNOC, with whom uh, I will uh, start this presentation. Good morning. <coughs> Welcome uh, to this session. I'm going to speak Spanish. So if you need uh, translation devices, please go and get them. This is the time to do that. So, good morning. Thank you for coming to this event. I hope this is a very productive uh, week. And let me tell you a bit what uh, this event is uh, uh, so that you can make the most of it. Of. I'm going to tell you what LACNIC is. My colleagues, uh, Ariel and Laura, are going to tell you about the rest of the agenda, LACNOC, and what you'll find in the agenda, and how can you leverage the interaction, and uh, what we expect from you to give you a very enriching week. Let me st start with uh, the first one. First of all, LACNIC is part of a set of organizations, the uh, Internet, the Internet uh, Regional Registries. They are regionally responsible for administering or assigning uh, Internet numeric numbers uh, and resources, that is, IP addresses and autonomous uh, system numbers, IPv4 and IPv6 addresses. And for Latin America, we have LACNIC, for North America, ARIN, for Africa, AFRINIC, and for Europe, right, CC, and uh, for uh, Asia Pacific, APNIC. We are 20 years old, a bit older than 20 years. We uh, provide services to uh, 22 countries um, about, um, and each of the entities that request uh, IP addresses are our members. So not only do they have a uh, service of the IP addresses for which they pay a monthly, uh, a year, an annual fee, but they also have rights uh, for membership uh, in the institution and they can engage in our institutional life. And they also have the right to attend uh, these events and benefit from uh, the tutorials, the interactions, and all the services we provide our members. LACNIC, in addition, is a space for exchanging information, experiences to for capacity building, not just uh, at your companies, but also that uh, leads to further development in the region. What uh, is a LACNIC event? Let me first tell you what LACNIC is. I already told you that our key role, our primary role, is assigning numbers and administering the numbers in the region. However, our raison d'etre, that's our raison d'etre, but uh, that's the reason why we exist, but that's not the only thing we do, because the real important thing is in these events that we organize, where we build a regional community, we uh, uh, generate uh, capacities, uh, we build capacities, we exchange ideas, and uh, 
to assist the different uh, internet stakeholders, um, uh, access providers, uh, uh, government agencies, uh, the uh, uh, academia, and that has impact on uh, the internet. So. It uh, it's very important to see how we do this uh, community building process through exchanges like this, and that is why it's so important for you to pay attention to what our colleagues are going to tell you, so you can identify which of the activities that you'll find here are the ones that you can really benefit from the most. So once again, for coming. This is going to be a very productive week, and I invite you to approach the staff and Laura. Well, Laura will tell you who's uh, part of the staff. We have uh, these uh, uh, badges, and any comment, any feedback from you is important because we we are eager to hear your ideas. Thank you. Thank you, Oscar. Well, now let's uh, start discussing the activities that we will have uh, at this event. In general terms, all of the events have five tracks or five big topics uh, that we navigate uh, all week long. So the LACNIC LACNOG event is a platform for encounters. We have many activities uh, simultaneously and many uh, internet platforms that organize their workshops uh, at the same time. And uh, they will, in, in some cases, uh, they will take place uh, uh, at the same time of the agenda, in, within the agenda, and sometimes in parallel. So now let's see what are the days that we have tutorials. For example, today is a strong day for tutorials and for training. The event is also a space for uh, knowledge building and debate. We're going to have two days of uh, discussion of uh, technical issues that were went through the LACNOC uh, selection process. Uh, Ariel will tell you we're going to have the uh, public policy forum, and we are also here for networking, to talk with our colleagues, to uh, become aware of services provided by other companies. We have the trade show and other social activities that uh, we are going to enjoy the rest of the week. So this is the structure of the agenda. You can access it in our website, the website of the event. Here you have the general structure. And then as you click on each of uh, the boxes, for instance, today, tutorials, there you'll see all the tutorials that uh, you'll have today, the times and the rooms. Monday is a day full of tutorials, but tomorrow, Tuesday, we're going to start officially with the event. That is the opening session, and we'll go on with panels. And after lunch, we'll start. Uh, we'll open LACNOG, and we have more technical presentations. On Wednesday, we have a panel in the morning, and then public policy forum the rest of the day. And at the end, we'll have more presentations on LACNIC issues. Thursday, on Thursday, we're going to have LACNOG technical presentations. We have the tutorial after lunch. And on Friday, there's a morning meeting for LACNOG, and after the break, we have the Internet Measurement Working Group, after which we'll wrap up. Use in pink, um, uh, is, these are all or purple. That's uh, all the social events that you're all invited, the welcome cocktail that's uh, today. Uh, tomorrow you have a beer and gear, and then there's a social event for peering. Um, uh, um, uh, on Thursday. I wanted to tell you about one of those spaces. It's the Public Policy Forum that's going to be on uh, Wednesday. This is a very important moment because in the Public Policy Forum, we debate the proposals that intend to amend 
the policy manual. That is nothing but uh, the uh, document of reference that we as uh, an IRR uh, uh, follow to assign the numeric resources. And through this public policy forum, we may uh, we accept proposals to amend or to um, introduce a new uh, policy. And uh, through this public policy forum, we can change uh, the uh, process for uh, policy development. So this forum is very important. This is open to anybody. There is not even a need to be a member. You don't have to meet any conditions. And it is essential so that the chairs, that are people that uh, act, uh, that are chosen uh, by the community, and they will determine whether a consensus is reached and whether the uh, policy proposal is ratified. Everybody can um, uh, speak. Well, that's going to be on Wednesday in this room. And uh, there's a mailing list for debate all year. We're going to discuss four po uh, policies, some uh, to amend uh, the uh, PDP, others uh, the manual. And there I leave the link so that you can uh, 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 read all the proposals that are under debate before coming to the forum to uh, be aware of what is going to be discussed. And then we have recommendations for all the participants. Maybe some of you may not be so new. And uh, today there is a workshop for policy to um, and in the gold odo uh, hall. I invite you to participate. And now I'm going to give the floor to Ariel Wecker who will tell you about LACNOG. Thank you, Laura. Uh, good morning for everybody. I see many familiar faces, many new people. Welcome to our event. I'm Ariel Wecher. I'm the current president of LACNOG. LACNOG is a sister organization. You'll see that all the organizations in the region have similar names. It's, we are not LACNIG. We don't manage any IP addresses. We are the network operations uh, organization for Latin America and uh, the Caribbean. And our aim is to promote the discussion and the exchange of uh, technical information among network operators. If your job is to operate networks, regardless your size, we believe we want you to have a place of encounter so that you can exchange information, generate debate, and discussion. And usually, we organize points uh, of encounter to create uh, synergies among uh, the operators to pave the way for or for, for meetings uh, or to have uh, uh, events like this. This is a beautiful event where you'll see that uh, you have a wonderful network. And then you'll see that uh, both uh, in uh, the agenda of LACNIG and LACNOG, you'll find very, very interesting training sessions on very important topics. But you'll also see that there's a very, very relevant uh, component that is uh, the, the corridors. You, you are going to see many people in the management or operations of the networks, and you'll have time for business. And that's what uh, we uh, want to promote. Of course, we want cooperation. We, we want to improve resilience and uh, security in the networks. And in a nutshell, we want a better uh, operation of the internet in general terms. That's our aim. We spent our organization that, uh, well, as a matter of fact, our organization had the first meeting here in Brazil in 2010 in Sao Paulo. So we're already several years old at this event again in Brazil. We are going to have on Wednesday, we are going to have our 
first uh, um, assembly. And this is another milestone of our story, and we are very grateful. So let me tell you, too, that we have working groups. This means that there are certain groups of people that have a general purpose. Now we have 12 working groups. I'm going to tell you how you can join them, how you can participate. Our organization is absolutely open. Membership, you just need to have an email address. That's the only thing you need to participate, and you can participate of all the events. Our organization organizes webinars and podcasts. We have a website where you can get engaged. There are working groups with a specific aim. There are issues of universal acceptance. This is one of the newest working groups. There's another working group in charge of anti-abuse and anti-malware, vet operational practices, DNS, IETF standards. Uh, this group uh, monitors IETF uh, issues, uh, always in what it has to do with Latin America and the Caribbean. There's another group uh, of internet measurements that has some time, uh, uh, and you'll have some time for it on Friday. And we have a group that discusses the Internet of Things. There's a group that is in charge of uh, assisting national operators, NNOGs, uh, LACNAC uh, groups, uh, uh, gathers uh, uh, operators of Latin America and the Caribbean, but there are also maybe smaller regions or uh, we have a working group that uh, helps them. We also have the peering forum as a part of a working group, and there's a group that uh, specifically deals with routing. And another new group that was created recently is a group of operators that helps law enforcement agencies collaborating so that law enforcement <coughs> agencies can uh, catch the bad guys with the assistance of network operators. These are specific working groups, and each of them has a mailing list and a discussion list, and uh, there is also absolutely open, and you can join them if you wish so. Now, how can I participate in LACNOG? Once again, it is totally free of charge. That is a link to the website and the QR code if you wish to check that and you can join the general mailing list. This general mailing list that you have on the QR code has about 1,400 participants. These are network operators from all Latin America and the Caribbean, plus some other countries from other parts of the world. So you can ask questions on the topics that you wish. Of course, this has to be related to the internet and to network operations. So we'll be most grateful if you can participate and become part of our community. So that would be all. And if you have any questions, I will be around all week. So you can look up us, uh, us up, sorry, at us booth. And the people, the LACNOG people and team will be glad to help you. Thank you, Ariel. So to go on, let me tell you more, uh, more specifically about the distribution of the event. You might have realized that this will be the convention center, which is divided into three different floors. The ground floor is where you have the registration desk. That is where you came in. And there will be some meeting rooms on that floor. For example, today, the tutorial on policies in the Oro room behind the registration area. Then on the first floor, we have the trade fair, and all the coffee breaks and lunches will take place on that, on that floor. And lunch is the one in between the first floor. We have ground floor and first floor. And then we have the plenary session, which is in the second floor at the entrance to this room, you have a networking area that you can use to sit down, to have meetings. It's available for that aim. And today and tomorrow, 
we'll also have an opportunity to be there. Then, in addition to the agenda and the tutorials and all the technical presentations, we're going to have some social events. Today, we have the welcome cocktail. We'll be departing from the hotel with the buses. This will take place at 7 p.m., but from 6 15 p.m. onwards, the buses will be leaving the hotel. Tomorrow, Tuesday, once all the sessions are over, we'll have the beer and gear. This will take place in the trade show area. We'll share a couple of beers. We can visit the different booths. On Wednesday morning, we have an activity that is great and I strongly recommend. This is Lacnic Runners. I know that might sound very early in the morning, it, but it's full daylight at that time. We meet at 6 a.m. at the hotel lobby, and then we depart to the coast. Those who wish to run or wish to jog or walk, you can join us. And we finish at 7.20, and then we come back to the hotel. And then on Wednesday afternoon, once we finish, we'll have the social event. We'll be departing by bus from the hotel. And all the information is in the agenda if you wish to travel on your own, but the buses will be departing from the hotel, and then we'll bring you back. And like Oscar was saying, and also Ariel mentioned, one of the most interesting things that we can take home from this event is all the networking we can do. And there are many opportunities for interaction, not only in person, but also those for those of you who are following us virtually. Today, you can even participate virtually from the trade show. We we'll, we can follow the sessions by through streaming. So both the in-person and the remote activities have simultaneous interpretation into three languages. If you're at home and you're following us through the, the through streaming, you can also ask questions through the Q and A option, and also during the public policy forum. In addition to that, we have a Discord platform to sub send messages if you wish. Then we have this networking area, which I mentioned a while ago, outside this plenary room. And in addition to that, we have the networking tool. You log in with the same email you use to register to the event, and you can send messages to other participants and they will receive this message by email, so you can coordinate meetings and whatever you might need. So you can contact people if you wish. And LACNIC also has its own booth, the same as LACNOG, and you can go there. We are always welcome. Now, before moving on, I would like to refer to this point, which is very important. During this event, and no the activities organized by LACNIC, we apply a code of contact. This is LACNIC's code of contact. This establishes what is the expected behavior from all participants of our community. Our community. And this also describes the unacceptable types of behavior for interaction in our community. You should have read this prior to registering to the event because you, you have to check the box that you agree with this code of conduct. Otherwise, it is available in this link that you have here on the website. It's very brief. It's one page long. So you can also check it out on this site. So this code of conduct is interpreted by the code of the ethics committee. The ethics committee, if any of these unacceptable behaviors occurs, the community can then um, point this out and then the ethics committee will then proceed in order to determine whether special sanctions are applicable. In addition to that, you can send an email directly. We have a group of trusted representatives. There are staff members and community members at the, uh, uh, the event. You can approach these trusted representatives of LACNIC if you have any uncomfortable situation. They can assist you or also to figure out solutions to certain problems that you might have. 
and before this reaches the ethics committee. So they will tell you how to report situations if these were to occur. I will now show you the photographs of the trusted representatives, Adriana Rivero, Ernesto Majo, Kevin Swift, Paula Mansi, and then from the community we have Leah Solis, Mac Larson, Henry, and Ricardo Patara. Any of you can help you out if you should need any assistance in this regard. And to close this session of new participants, let me tell you that we will start today's activity with the tutorials. We have the tutorial on the interactive workshop, how to uh, how LACNIX ma manages its internet resources and how you can influence this. Then there's a tutorial on the use of RPKI and IRR for network operations. Then we have the DNS space in LAC and the DNS hackathon, which will be taking place throughout the week. So with this, we close the session for new participants. And I wish you a wonderful week. And I hope you make the best of this activity. Thank you very much.